very special indeed. Cheers. Oh yeah, 300 miles later, I'm up craggy bottom. <laughs> Each of the chalets have a name, I've nicknamed this craggy bottom with a view that you're seeing now, even from inside, is quite spectacular. Margaret, she did well. <laughs> she knows this area very well, and this place, and the lock, and autumn truly has landed in Scotland. Her timing. So I thought I'd have a quick chat. This is the chalet that I'm staying in for the next four nights. It's an upstairs bunk, so for kids, oh, this would be great. So I, I am gonna have to do a bit of uh, weaving of the magic, try and persuade the family to come here. Not for photography, honestly. Ah, oh, I'm mashed, smashed, crashed, bashed. I'm ready for the restaurant. But I've just got a pair of teeth. <laughs> Fridge bound, got the first one out. Got myself a loaf, some best butter and strawberry jam, seedless. Like me. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> so we're here for today which I'm early so thanks to Margaret for showing me around today although she did twist my arm and I ended up getting the milk from Aldi I can't stand shopping in Aldi but all was good and then of course the £5,000 it's cost me in petrol I've just filled up Put the, the, filled the tank up again. Yeah, £91 here. Back home, it cost me a ten or less for a full tank. Oh, it's good, that. And I don't normally drink beer. Our Estrella.
I've just come up this giant embankment. I, I was huffing and puffing and I've been talking to camera, so excited, I didn't put the microphone on. There's reasons why. We've walked up to this clearing. I'll show you where I've come up from and the colour, the colour is incredible. Look at this. So I've just walked up that from the bar. There's another shot there. Oh my goodness me, look at that colour. And we've come up this embankment, I'm huffing and puffing. And look at what we've discovered here. Unbelievable. This is the Kraken rising out of the soil. Ocean of ground covered in these beech leaves. A beautiful display. Look at the contrast in colour. Absolutely beautiful. How could I not come back on and just show you this scene? Shot portrait. My goodness me. I, I don't know why I'm showing you the back of the camera. Look at that. I'm lost for words. I'm truly, truly blown away. so calm and so peaceful. I'm getting shots of the far bank because the, the clag is just enough to give away the detail. It keeps flattening off a little bit, but even with this slight ripple, I'm not putting any NDs on and I haven't even used a polarizer yet. The colors are so strong. I really don't think we need a polarizer. I don't want to put anything in front of the camera. I just want it to be what I'm seeing because it, it, it truly is quite unbelievable what I'm seeing. Driving down this beautiful road, heading up towards that direction, and uh, I just spied this beech tree sitting in the middle of all these coniferous pines. It's quite a messy scene, but I think from about there, there's nice separation with these pines, and then that beach just popping in the middle. It's chaotic, but it's took a bit of thinking, quite a bit of working out. I quite like that where the shoulders of the, the pine to the left are leading you, they're pointing in at the tree, one's almost touching it, and then removing this mess to the right. So the composition will look something like this. Yeah, I think about the in camera, I took a bit of time studying it and we'll get the shot now. Anyway, we're gonna head back to the van and just keep going. I haven't a clue where I'm gonna end up. I've got a few hours and this after this morning, well, I should have gone over to where the clag was and got in and amongst the woodland, but hopefully I can do that tomorrow. But for now, we're gonna continue mooching around here, heading up as far as I can who knows what's the way? I've never been here before. This is great fun. 
Right, sit there. This means may all your children be as cute as the piper. <laughs> I was up on the hillside with the group and Joel's giving his talk and I'm listening intently and there's something about focused listening. I wasn't looking at Joel and I wasn't looking at the rest of the group. I was just completely listening to the sounds and what Joel had to say. And out the corner of my eye, I was being drawn further in lock side but looking in and I'm at quite a height I've clambered up it's quite accessible steps I've clambered up to the top and in between all these magnificent just beautiful colourful birch is a very nutty orange beech tree there's all these straights the stands of the birch surrounding, almost claustrophobic on the birch, pinning it in. The light keeps hitting now. Oh! <laughs> I want everyone to see this, but they're, they're far over there. And of course, it's my shot. So look at that shape in between. And when the light cuts across, just off to the side, look at that. That is just incredible. I was sitting there, all on its tods, all on its lonesome, are surrounded by this colour. I'll just zoom out a bit for you so you can see, and then I'll show you my composition. That is just beautiful. And we've got some soft rain, it's adding to the atmosphere. Here's the composition where the light's cutting through. I've narrowed it down to this area here. I am absolutely delighted with that. I may do a four by three crop just to take out possibly one or two here. I don't want to zoom in. I'm quite happy the fact it's at F6. So there's a lot of drop off in depth of field, which is softening the light, softening the leaves. Oh, look at that. Look at that light now. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. And here, it's the beach we've just been looking at through the gap. 
behind it all the birch just a beautiful structure color form contrast there's no dramatics here I've set this over to the left and I've set it over to the right and then just decide decide later what I think I prefer look at that light just as I start vlogging ah, it's ridiculous oh thanks man it's uh, it's real look at, look at it <laughs> Ah, oh, right, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is the last day of the retreat. This is James Kelly, the third. He's from Aberdeenshire. Fourth. The fourth. He, he, his legs are made of ice cream. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in a place that is special. I've been Gandalf this morning. There's not many days you get up, eat your breakfast, Joe Cornish, pretend you're Gandalf and then end up on a hillside looking at silver birch that are just so decorative, dancing colour, confettis of light. I, I am in awe. This week has been, it's been tough, been away from the family and it's the furthest I've ever driven on my own, if you can believe that, I know it's ridiculous, but it's been worth it and I'm coming back, this is going to be my place in October, most definitely. It's a lifetime of looking here. I'm not telling you where it is. Scotland. <laughs> it's Scotland. Just go to Scotland, and uh, don't let don't let James. That's the last thing that. I need. Another one. Another person from south of the border doing more workshops in my country. Ridiculous. Listen to that accent, though. He's almost English. <laughs> Take the notice. <laughs> I'm going to get it after that statement alone has got me in bother. Anyway, moving on swiftly. So, I'm not going to end it just yet, because who knows what could happen walking back. We'll have another, another uh, jangle further on and um, wrap it up from there. But thank you so much for watching, as always, your support. Don't forget, if you like what you see, you can come over and support me on Patreon for a couple of bob. And uh, it's a couple of quid in English. And just uh, support, you know. Have a look, we have meetings there, meetups, it's a real good community of photographers. There's no critique, there's no harsh, arsy attitudes, it's about creativity and the love of this craft. The light's kicking off, so there. My passion and love for trees I don't ever see. Dwindling, going away, weakening, and uh, the past few days have only strengthened that. This place is incredible. And I've come back to finish off. I'm only here for two or three hours before the long journey home, which is about, knowing me, about eight hours. I'm not rushing. Ah. I've done a wee podcast with Margaret and I'll be doing my own podcast, the in-between episode about my experience here. But this vlog, this video, this journal, because it is a four day, Actually, more Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's three. Yeah, Saturday, the dancing was four, five, my talk, and coming here with a beautiful group of beautiful human beings. That was a lot of beautiful, wasn't it? But it's true. Hearts and minds, souls glowing with joy and happiness, fulfillment from nature and each other's company. Big love, thanks, take care, do things your way, create your way. If you've liked this, thank you. There's only one thing left to say from Scotland. Silly.